Good afternoon and welcome to 12 Mile Indiana for the 59th running of the 12 Mile 500. We are excited that you are here. Uh, it's a lawnmower race that originally started in 63, started uptown around the old high school. Uh, it was pretty slow the first year, was, uh, j they were just lawnmowers. But the second year, the speeds increased dramatically. They doubled in speed to 14 miles an hour. And then obviously we've gotten to where we are today where they're fairly sophisticated machines. Some of them. Most of these mowers are handmade. Guys like myself, we look at them usually after we go to 500 in Indy. You get that bug and you get them out, you start messing around with them. A lot of hillbilly engineering went into these machines. A lot of nights with the welder, the torch, making things just right. Even if not just right, good enough for 12 mile. Originally they had the decks still on them and then they decided to drop the decks a very long time ago. The Briggs class is more of your standard looks like a lawnmower type of thing. In a modified class, they're running three-wheeler engines, they're running motorcycle engines, they're running whatever they can find to get in there to set between their legs. Our group is mostly local guys. A lot of my brothers got in it before me, and friends of the family like Cannonball Robbins and Dean Owens, several guys, they let us play around with the mowers. When we was kids, ride them before the race and stuff out of the farm. So that's pretty much how we got in it. At one point, I think there was six or seven of us that were all running together at once. Me and my cousin both, who's over there, we started when we were like 12. We've had cousins, uncles, dads, everybody doing it at once. So yeah, it is a lot about competing with family. That probably takes over more. But yeah, there are a lot of other good guys that we race with. Pretty much every single one of them is a good guy to race with. Yeah, it's, it's a fun time. 59th running of the 12 mile 500, just a few minutes away. It's gonna start things off with the Briggs class, then move into the modified class. Should be a whole bunch of fun throughout the rest of the day. It's 60 laps, this is more of an endurance race. Most dirt track events are, are short and fast. Uh, this race is more of an endurance race. You have to make three pit stops, you have to come to complete stop. And then there's the added bonus of a speed limit that we have because as you can see, there's concrete walls around here and it's a very tight racing surface. So you can come up on guys and worry them a little and push them a little faster, push them a little faster, a little faster. Next thing you know, they're going through the penalty box, but they can do that to you too, so you can't be rattled. The speed limit is more just to keep everybody so that they can go to work on Monday. Because when we qualify, uh, some of these mowers, they average 30 miles an hour for the whole lap. The Little League field is an added feature to it, so uh, you know there's not many racetracks that go around, literally around a baseball field. Uh, we run right down the uh, third base foul line and the first base foul line, and then make the curve around home plate and back out. A lot of people have problems at home plate. There's usually a couple spills there every year. But other than that, it's a, it's a really fun track to run on. It's nice and fast. For those that don't understand racing, it probably is not going to teach you anything about racing because it's not just put your foot down and go fast, it's, it's a little bit more of a game. It's just a lot of it's luck, somebody else's bad luck, your good luck, having a good mower that will last the race that you can count on, that no, it's not going to go down on you. No matter what you do to it, it'll take it. You got to play the game, you can't stand out. You just want to kind of keep underneath the radar, run a clean race, and usually if you run a clean race, you're, you're in the top. You have to kind of know where you're at, where they're at, in the whole scheme of things, not worry about anything until about the last 10 laps then, start figuring who's in the lead, where you're at, and then start figuring out who you've got to run down or you've got to run from them. I don't know, it's just different. The whole thing, everything about it's different. I bring new people here every year, and it's always the same. Every time they show up they and they see it, they were not expecting anything like it. It's just completely what they wouldn't expect from a mower. This is one of our biggest days we look forward to all year. It's just fun coming up, talking to a lot of the drivers we don't maybe see until today. It's just a fun day that doesn't involve going to a big town. <laughs> 